Hi, my name is Yavua Ejabin Nifan. I am a teacher at the University of Cape Coast Primary School. And in this video, I will show learners how to read your notes, do your assignments, do your exercises, or watch videos on the LMS. Come to class and let's study together. So type in your address as you know, basic school LMS ucc.edu.gh and search for it. Then click on login to log in to your basic school. Remember you have changed your username, your, your password, sorry. Your username is the same, but you change your password when you are asked to log in for the first time. So you type in the new password that you used. So I have typed in the username ups slash the flash won't come ups whatever you have to add you add it to it and type in your new password then when you finish you click on login now when you click on login this is what i have it's asking your dashboard your new dashboard has many features to help you to to help you easily assess the information most important to you okay let's just close it let's close this and close the system is asking us to save our password and username you said no to so close that one as well so this is a student who has come to the class for the first time let's go to the dashboard and see click on dashboard at this side we have dashboard here so we have our dashboard then we can scroll down a little to see the subjects that we have so we have computing for primary two english language french then we have Ghanaian language then we have history, we have our world, our people, we have performing arts for primary two, we have physical education, religious and moral education, and then science for primary and then visual arts for primary. Okay, so we have all this. Now you can see that some of them have 0% complete. It means that whatever work that has been put there, you have not attempted the work. That is 0% complete. Okay, so what we are going to do is that we have logged in and we want to assess the notes on the platform. Let's use the history for instance. So we click on it to open the content. Now when I click on this, I have this and a message popping up. Let me just close the message. I don't need that message. So I have what the teacher has loaded on the page here. I can scroll down to view what the teacher has put there. So there is the English language, sorry, the history that we opened, the information the teacher has put there. So we have here, it said Obama visits. Now there is nothing there, but when I put the cursor on it, it turns into a hand. So let me click on it and see. Let me click on that. I click on Obama visits. Oh, as soon as I did, there is a video there that the teacher has put for me to look at or watch. So when I click on this, the video will play. I'm Anderson Cooper in Cape Coast, Ghana, and this is a special edition of 360, President Obama's African Journey. We're coming to you from Cape Coast Castle, one of several fortresses along the West African coast, through which an estimated 10 to 40... Okay, so in this video, the teacher has put President Obama in Ghana at Cape Coast Castle. So this is what they have there. So you go through the notes, and then that is what you listen to the video that the teacher has given to you. This was a video and not a note. So we can go back again by click on the backwards button. So click on backwards button to go back. Okay, so this is where we watch the video, Obama visit. Now let's come down a little and see here. It says, fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. When you put the cursor on it like this, it turns into a hand. So this will mean I have watched the video on Obama's visits. So let me click on this to fill in the blanks with the correct answers. So I have here, now the teacher has put another video here that says that the slave trade story from Cape Coast Castle. It means that this particular video is the video I have to watch. So let me go down so that I can fill in the answer here. So it means that to be able to answer this correctly, I should watch the video to understand what the teacher wants me to know. When I have understood the video or what the teacher put there, I can go down, click here 
to type in the correct answer. For the purpose of the video or this tutorial, let me just type in an answer. So let's say my answer is come. I type in the answer. Let me click on check. It told me that the come that I did there was wrong. It means that my answer was wrong. Okay. So the teacher said I can check or show solution. So I can click on show solution. The solution is central. That should have been the correct answer. So let me just click on retry and type in central. Okay, I type in central as the correct answer. Click on check. Now the system says the answer is correct. Okay, now you can see that in this video, it means once I have 1 over 1 here, it means there is only one question related to the video that I have here. If there were several questions, it would be one out of something. And I'll have to keep on answering the question. The question would have automatically popped up after I've done the first item. That is how to answer your questions on the portal. If you open, it's a video. You can watch the video. If it is not a video and it is a note, you just go through the notes and then read your notes. Let me come back here and click on the dashboard. Okay, this is my dashboard. Dashboard is where I selected the primary two. I selected the subject history that I wanted. So when I finish, it is the recent assess course. This is the course I assess. I can scroll down to assess another course. Let's say um, you can see it says that I've done 9% of the things there. There are so many other things that I've not done yet. So let me scroll down and see. I want to select religious and moral education. Let me click on that as well. So I click on that. That one too, there is a video that I have to watch. Then I have attributes of God that is listed here for me. And I can click on the attributes of God and see what the teacher put there. So God's unique futures are his. Then I have to select the attributes. Let me click on the answer check. So you see, my answer is correct. Now there is a button here that tells me that there are other questions that I can go in for. So let me click on this button. Good. When I click on the next button, I have the next question popping up. When God provides us with sunlight, it means God is the giver of, let me say, light. And click on check. It tells me my answer is correct. Once I have this, I can click on next to go and do the next question. Water from the sky tells us that God is the giver of rain. Check. My item is correct. Now I click on next. You keep on clicking on next. Let me go to next. So the three dots or the four dots that I have here is telling me that I have four questions to answer. I have done the first three. It's left with the last one. So when we are being shielded from danger, it means God is our protector. Check. And you can see finish has now popped up. I'm done with the questions. Let me click on finish to finish what I did. You can see it's retry. So let's say retry means when I was doing the work, there were some I got them wrong. And I want to retry them, redo them again. That is where I go to the retry button. And click on retry to take the question again. So this is how to go into the portal and do your work. When you finish your work, always return to this dashboard. Click on dashboard. It brings you back to the dashboard. I have assessed two courses so far. And then the rest of the courses are down. So I can just go and choose another course. And then assess that one too. If there is a note, I'll read it. If there is an exercise, I'll do it. And then when I do that, let's look at the history and see what I have as the bar. Sorry, that is the religious and moral education. Let's look at it and see what I did. So it says that the things there, I have done 25% of the things. It means that there are some things that I've not done yet. You always must get 100% to know that you have done all the exercises on that particular subject. So this is how to log in and take your exercises. You can subscribe to the channel, as you know, and then like the page. There are so many interesting videos coming up. We will teach learners right here in this channel, mathematics, science, English, Ghanaian language, French, computing, and so many other interesting things on this channel. Yes, we have teachers from various places 
coming to this channel to come and teach you based on the new curriculum. So why don't you subscribe to the channel? You get all these videos for free when we upload so them. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. Like the page so you can enjoy the videos for free. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel.